A terrifying situation in Springfield this afternoon ends just a short while ago. A man had barricaded himself inside a home after the local U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force attempted to serve a warrant on felony charges. Law enforcement has confirmed that the suspect is now in custody. News 13's Kayla Tucker is live on scene. And Kayla, what happened? Well, hey, Amy, a lot of the agencies here are now packing up and getting ready to leave as Troy Stanford is in custody. The man who was, was barricaded inside his home for about four hours this afternoon to tell me more about how he became to get in custody. I have Sheriff Tommy Ford live here. So, Sheriff, just tell me what happened today to get this man in custody. So today, our U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, which is made up of uh, our local police departments, Dunhaven, Panama City, Panama City Beach, uh, and the Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Marshal's Office were working a fugitive case on Troy Stanford, who was wanted for trafficking in, in methamphetamine, both from Bay County Sheriff's Office and the Panama City Police Department. They were able to locate uh, him today on East 14th Street and went to take him into custody uh, in what we call a surround and call out, where they basically surround the house and attempt to have him exit the house. And he took uh, two females hostage inside the residence. One, was, uh, the, which was a homeowner, was uh, released very early into the incident. Uh, but the second was only released a few minutes ago. Um, we had our uh, SWAT team and hostage negotiations, as well as criminal investigations and our patrol division, along with the help from all our local police departments, and uh, especially Springfield Police Department was right here. Panama City sent their SWAT team out to help us because we really felt this thing could go on for an extended term since he had, had a hostage, um, and they were here uh, to relieve us. But about 5.30, uh, we were able to, uh, we had been talking with the hostage, and we were able to uh, get her to come out of the house, um, and we had a quick reaction team that was able to go and bring her to safety very quickly, then entered the house and we're able to find him and take him into custody without incident. So I'm just proud of the work of, of the men and women of the Sheriff's Office as well as with our partners with the police departments and U.S. Marshal Service and uh, really was a very long day. Uh, was very concerned that this would uh, have a different, different ending and uh, very pleased that we were able to take him into custody safely and, and recover the hostages safely as well. And just quickly, maybe tell us about this guy's past. This is not the first time you guys have run into him. Right. He does have a, a criminal history here in Bay County. And again, the charges he was being sought for was uh, uh, Panama City and Bay County Sheriff's Office uh, separate cases for trafficking methamphetamine. Okay, thank you so much, Sheriff, and thank, thank you for sticking around to talk with us. Now, like he said, Troy Stanford is in custody here after this five-hour standoff, actually, in Springfield. And we'll have more tonight on the case and also on the subject tonight at 10, live in Springfield. Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.